Well, I'm back to work on disassembling the uh, mill for another day. And uh, I was out here yesterday for a little bit and I forgot the camera so I didn't film what I did but I didn't do too much. Basically what I did was I took off that whole homemade uh, bracket setup with the little 120 volt motor and the gear reduction drive. I uh, took that all off. That wasn't original to the mill anyways. Uh, mainly because now I can walk through here without having to worry about banging myself on that. And then um, I tried to take the uh, knee locking lever here, that whole shaft off. And what I what I think I figured out is I think this actually has to be, I think this handle has to be removed. I think the rod actually has to go out. Might have to go out that way, I'm not sure. Anyways, there was a nut on the back here. I took the nut off and that didn't do anything for me. It didn't really uh, help me any, so. And then I've got a couple of requests for people who want to buy this. This is the uh, feed lever uh, for the table. So all that was to take that off was you take these two screws out and this whole thing slides out and it's got this pin. Now somebody had mentioned that on theirs, they believe that that pin had a flat spot for actuating some sort of an oil pump. And uh, I don't see that on this one, so this might be earlier. Different design maybe, I don't know. But I'm gonna actually take that nut off right there and take the handle off, because somebody might just want that little handle. And then somebody else might need the whole um, bar that goes behind it there. And then when you took once you take this out, then that exposed, uh, let's see, I got these two pins right here. So these actually stuck down in the holes right here. And those are the, uh, the automatic, uh, what you'd have is you'd have those uh, automatic trips set up on the side of the table. And as the table would come by this way, it would hit that and that would automatically put that lever back in the neutral position. And you had one on each side, so got those there. And then this gear and these two bevel gears and these two bearing caps, they all came out of here. That was that assembly I showed you before. It showed uh, basically this is gonna turn in only one direction and then that uh, this device right here gets moved over by the pin on the end of this rod when you turn it and that's going to decide which of these two gears that's being driven drives that centerpiece which then would drive the uh, the lead screw so hopefully that's pretty self-explanatory how that goes together all right, all right so now uh, I believe somebody needs this part right here that the lead screw went through so that looks like it's simple enough. Looks like just four screws and that comes off, so we'll get that off easy enough. Well, kind of at a standstill in getting this assembly here off, so uh, I decided I was gonna attack the uh, feed drive, which basically you've got this transmission right here for the uh, changes in the speeds of the feed that outputs to this shaft goes into this assembly right here which is the direction change mechanism so this always goes in one direction and then you use this lever and this will change it from forward to reverse and then that comes over to this assembly on the side here which is to engage the feed so uh, I loosened up the screws for this and this looks like it might come off except it almost feels like either something is holding it inside there, which means I'm going about this all wrong, or it's just this lever right here doesn't want to flex. So that made me decide to try and take this off, which I found two screws up here and two screws down here. The weird thing is this section right here almost looks like it's part of this casting. Looks like it's part of the knee. So I don't see where this splits from this, but uh, that, moved a little bit and then I 
looked underneath this oil cover and look at that I bet you that's the screw that's holding me up right now uh, I guess not it's only a short little screw it's got like a dowel on the end there that I wonder if that acts as like a retainer for this shaft maybe let's see with this out does this shaft pull out completely no that doesn't do it either all right all right well I guess I'll leave that screw out for now I'll take those four screws out completely and see if it moves aha okay so here's the separation point right there couldn't even see it because it was painted in and filled with so much grease let's see if I can wiggle this and get it off well, I was able to open the door back up and get some sun in here, some more light. The neighbor was doing them a favor over here and cutting the grass, and it was just very loud and annoying. So anyways, uh, let's see. So this thing's just wiggling, but it's not coming off. Not sure what's holding that up. This has got these universal joints in it, so that can't be it. Plus, this shaft slides onto this shaft, so theoretically, if I got this away from the machine, I should be able to slide this right off. That's not coming off, though. Um, I guess I'll completely remove those screws in there and see whether or not that assembly will move that way. Oh, no luck there. This assembly right here has a large barrel portion right here that clearly sticks through the knee right here so there's no doubt in my mind the way this unit has to come off is in this direction so the only way to get this off is to move it out this way and the only way to move it out this way what I can see is to get this rod to disconnect from here which I'm not having any luck with by pulling this out I actually had these these yokes or clutch dogs or whatever you want to call them here these two devices came loose looks like they go on one goes on a pin right here to move this gear back and forth that's pretty self-explanatory where the other one fell out of I won't know until I get this out so here's what I'm gonna do next I see a screw here kinda of buried in the paint there's a screw there and there's a screw there and take those three screws and see if this cover will come off and maybe that'll allow me to pull this out got three of the screws loose and then it just seemed to make sense to me that there should be a fourth screw down in this vicinity here and sure enough if you swivel this handle up out of the way tucked in right underneath here it's number four you, I've been very lucky so far a lot of most of these screws are coming out really easily nope still stuck well, much to my chagrin, I am out of time. It's fall baseball season here in New England, and I got one kid with a practice today and the other kid in a game today, so I gotta get going. Batting practice at 5.15, so. 4.30 now, I got enough time to clean up a little bit, get back to the house and clean up. Uh, so I'm gonna be looking for help on disassembly of this thing just looking over here this looks like there was a tiny screw maybe here and there is a tiny screw in there that looks like it would take this cover off I don't see why that would help me but I could take this it looks like I could drive this pin out take this handle off and take this cover off and get a look inside there uh, well, that would let me... No, that's not really going to do it for me, is it? I don't have room to push that pin. Well, see, if I had taken that shaft out already, then I could take this pin out, drive this back in. So maybe the shaft... Maybe that centerline shaft has to come out first. Yeah, well, good luck figuring out how that comes out. Oh, I don't like this. 
<laughs> Don't know. I'm almost wondering if I'd be better off trying to take the whole knee assembly off and then have it on the ground turned upside down or whatever. All right, signing off for now, but if anybody out there wants to send me a message, if they have information on how to uh, disassemble this further, I'm looking, right now I'm looking to take this, what I think is called the saddle off of here. Um, got all of those gears out. That big gear right there. I'd like to know how that comes out. Uh, thinking if that big gear out there were to come out then maybe the saddle would come off the front and then uh, I'm having trouble removing this reverser mechanism and this on off feed mechanism <laughs>